Welcome back. You are watching the training video series on Oracle Learning Cloud. If you wonder how training is made available to learners, it happens through learning assignments. In this video, we will see various use cases of how learning is assigned, how to create learning assignments, the simple ones and the ones with advanced rules. Here are a few use cases how learning is made available or assigned to learners. A learner who recently completed a training recommends it to her peers. A learner searches for a topic of interest in the training catalog and enrolls into a training. Manager requires her team to complete a training to stay current. All employees are mandated to complete a compliance training. All newly joined employees are required to complete mandatory training. In all these situations, learning assignment takes place. A learning assignment represents the relationship between a learner and a learning item. Learning assignment can be voluntary, require or recommend types. A voluntary learning assignment is an optional learning for a learner. Required assignment is mandatory learning to be completed by a learner and before a due date. Learning recommended by a specialist or any other learner leads to recommended learning assignment. It is optional as well. Now that we understand what is learning assignment, let's see how they are created. Let's talk about how specialist creates learning assignments. The ones created by manager and learner happens from self-service, which we will cover in a separate video. Specialist can create learning assignment from administrator work area, either from the learner's page and go to learning assignments or from the learning as catalog, go to the specific learning item and go to learner's info tile. Then it is a three step process. First is to select learning assignment type, which is voluntary, require or recommend. Then select the individual learners or group of learners to assign the learning. Lastly, define advanced rules, which we will see in detail. Now let's see by means of screenshots, how learning assignment is created in learning cloud. Here we see learning specialist goes to a course and learner info tile and selects add learners to create learning assignment. Specialist selects require assignment in this case. Specialist can provide a name for the assignment or use the system generated value, then provide a description and start date for the learning assignment. For assign as, specialist can select self or select from a list of values, which uh, also contains aliases such as office of CEO, security, legal, etc. Then enter any text to display to the learners in with this note uh, field. With this note is mandatory for require assignment. It is optional for voluntary and recommend. Then provide a due date after which if a learner does not complete, uh, the learning becomes overdue. Due date again applies only to a require assignment. Learning request details uh, section is useful if specialist creates request approved assignments with request related info. Next step is to choose the individual learner or a bunch of learners to whom this learning has to be assigned. Specialists can select any one of the four ways from the list to select the learners. Specialists can add individual learners using person search using any of the worker attributes like name, person number, department, etc. Click on advanced button to see few more attributes to select individual learner. Specialists can also search individual learners using existing learning assignments. For example, specialists can look for specific learner who has been assigned some learning and based on that assign the current learning. Specialists can choose a group of learners instead of individual learners and this can happen in multiple ways. Specialists can choose a group of learners using a BI analysis report. The output of BI report is a group of learners based on certain logic and saved as a BI report. Or specialist can assign the learning based on hierarchy such as learners org or learners directs. Or search and select learners using any of the criteria such as business unit, location, job, etc. or learning assignment attributes. This is selecting group of learners based on learning assignments. For example, specialists can use this to assign all learners Java advanced course who were previously assigned Java basic course. So far, the specialist completed two steps that is select the type of assignment and then select individual learners or group of learners. The step three is advanced assignment rules. 
This is not applicable to a recommend assignment. The first two settings apply to all voluntary assignments and required assignment on offerings and specialization. Only require course assignment has advanced rules related to validity, expiration and renewal. So upon submitting this, the learning assignments are created. Voluntary and required assignments show in learners current learning in self-service. Recommend assignments show in learners view recommendations area in self-service. You have seen how a learning assignment is created. Let's review the various attributes for each step of learning assignment process. Assignment details is the step one where specialist provides information about the assignment. Note that due date applies only to require assignment and also that with this note is a mandatory field only for require assignment. Step two of assignment creation is to select the learners or group of learners. To select individual learners, use worker criteria or search learning assignments. To select learner groups, there are three ways. Use BI analysis or use org hierarchy or learner criteria based on worker attributes or learning assignment attributes. The step three is advanced assignment rules. This does not apply to recommend assignment. Offering and specialization assignments and course voluntary assignments have only two advanced rules that you see on this slide. Initial assignment status, which can be active or request approved. Another is learning item as of date, which basically defines which learning item definition the learner will be assigned. If it is latest, then learner will see the latest definition of the learning item. If it is assignment to learner date, learner will see the learning item definition on the day learning was assigned to the learner. Require course assignment has advanced rules for validity, expiration and renewal. Validity period options allows the learning specialist to set when the validity period for the completed learning will begin. Validity sets in based on the values selected, which is immediately after due date or soon after the completion of the learning. Expiration settings define how the system will determine when an assignment has expired. The learning will never expire if expiration is set to never expires value. Else it can expire on a particular date every two years or three years. Other values are expire in years or days as specified. Lastly, the renewal options help configure assignments to renew automatically. If it is set to none, the assignment will not auto renew. For other values, the renewal can happen immediately that is soon after completion or n number of days after the due date has passed or n number of days before the expiration. Learning assignment status helps specialists track and control the progress of learners. Learning assignments have a life cycle from the stage they are assigned to when they are completed. Let us look at some of the important ones. Not started is the initial status after a learning is assigned. Then it moves to in progress when a learner has started the learning by accessing the content. Content complete is when all the learning is completed and it is pending the mandatory evaluation. Not paused indicates that the learning was completed and the learner did not achieve the minimum score to pass the assessment. Completed is when all the learning has been completed by the learner and any assessment and any mandatory evaluation. Withdrawn indicates that learner has been withdrawn from the assigned learning. Required assignment cannot be withdrawn from self-service. With that, we come to an end of this topic on fundamentals of learning assignment. Hope you found it useful. Please check out other videos from this training series.